Today we'll discuss about the basic design or sizing of turbo expander. The sizing of turbo expander provides the information about the speed and diameter of wheel. In addition to these, turbo expander power and outlet temperature are calculated. The frame size of turbo expander is selected based on the power. And this also provides information about the capacity of driven equipment like electrical generator or compressor driven by expander. The following steps to be followed. The basic design requires input data for required flow, pressure, temperature and gas composition. Wheel is selected for particular wheel family and calculation is done for speed and diameter of the wheel. Input data, normal volumetric flow rate or mass flow rate, inlet pressure, inlet temperature, outlet pressure, and gas compositions. Wheel selection, wheel is selected based on the requirement following design properties of the wheel are taken from the wheel family just like isentropic specific speed, isentropic base efficiency or isentropic efficiency. Gas properties and other parameters. Gas properties are calculated based on gas composition, pressure and temperature. Following properties and parameters are taken out or calculated. Actual outlet volumetric flow rate Q out, isentropic enthalpy drop HS, and outlet temperature T2. Now, wheel speed. A speed of the wheel is calculated using the specific speed formula. Isentropic specific speed NS is equal to N into Q out to the power 0.5 upon hs to the power 0.75 from there a speed of the wheel n is equal to ns into hs to the power 0.75 upon q out to the power 0.5 now a standard wheel speed select the standard speed based on the calculated speed now what are these things? N is a wheel speed in RPM. NS is a specific speed where N in RPM Q sorry Q out not Q in Q out should be meter cube per second and HS enthalpy drop in joule per kg. Q out is a discharge actual flow rate in meter cube per second and HS is a isentropic enthalpy drop. So this Q out and this Q out is same. This should not be Q in, this should be Q out. Wheel diameter. Outer diameter of, of the wheel is calculated as below. A spouting velocity C0 is equal to a square root of 2 into HS. For 50% impulse and 50% reaction turbine, u2 upon c0 is equal to 0 0.70 so we will outer tip velocity u2 is equal to c0 into 0 0.70 again will outer diameter d2 is equal to u2 into 60 into 1000 upon bracket start pi into n bracket close so this way we can calculate wheel outer diameter now a standard wheel diameter select the standard wheel diameter based on calculated diameter wheel actual tip velocity or tip speed actual tip speed or velocity is calculated based on the standard speed and a standard wheel diameter and which is expressed as u2 is equal to pi into d2 into n upon bracket start 60 into 1000 bracket close where u2 is out will outer 
active well speed or velocity in meter per second and d2 is a wheel outer diameter in millimeter now expander power expander output power is calculated as below expander power is equal to mass flow rate into isentropic enthalpy drop into isentropic efficiency upon bracket start 3600 into 1000 bracket close expander output power is equal to expander power minus bearing and mechanical losses where expander power in kilowatt expander Output power is also in kilowatt, mass flow rate in kg per hour, isentropic enthalpy in joule per kg, isentropic efficiency in constant, and bearing and mechanical losses should be also in kilowatt. So, thank you, thank you for watching.